beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new launch from Colourpop the time has come we are finally getting some non limited edition collection shades from the luxe liquid lipsticks we have seen these little luxe velvet liquid lips pop up in the Disney Midnight Masquerade collection and most recently in their Lunar New Year collection now we are getting 14 permanent shades these are dropping on the ColourPop site on Thursday, January 23rd. I believe they will be priced at $8 a piece. That's what the others have been priced at previously. The Lux Velvet Liquid Lip Formula is sort of like a cross between their Ultra Blotted Lips and the Ultra Satin Lips. They're more opaque than the Ultra Blotted, but they are more velvety, more of a matte texture than the Ultra Satins. So that's why I describe it as a cross between those two products. These are not completely transfer proof, but they do last a pretty long time on me. And because they're not completely flat matte, they are quite comfortable. I have dry skin, I have very dry lips, and I don't find these to be super drying or like tight feeling on the lips. I don't feel like they're crumbling and cracking, but I do feel like they can have a tendency to sort of emphasize or settle into the lines on my lips. But you know, lips have lines, I'm not mad about it. These have a good balance between a longer wear time and a more comfortable product. I wasn't super crazy about them when they first launched. I didn't hate them, I just didn't really like them that much. But this formula has started to grow on me. The more that I wear it, the more that I like it. And this velvet texture is a really good alternative for somebody like me who does have drier skin, drier lips. So these are kind of a good middle ground for me. The packaging is the exact same size and shape component as we've seen on the previously released Lux Liquid Lips. We get a little pale pink cap on this one, has a little gold label that says Lux Velvet. The applicator is also the same. It is a very skinny doe foot and it has a nice little point so it's very, very easy to get a precision application with these. Of course, all the shades are labeled on a little sticker on the bottom. I am gonna show you swatches of all 14 shades. I'm gonna do lip swatches, I'm gonna show you arm swatches. I'm also gonna do comparison swatches with all 14 of these new shades against the 10 previously released shades that we were talking about a little bit ago. So first things first, let's just do all the lip swatches and then we'll get into the comparisons.
Now that you've seen all the shades swatched on my lips, I want to go ahead and show you these new shades just swatched onto my arm before we get to comparisons. That way you can see all the new shades side by side and get a feel for the differences and similarities there. I also want to mention that these are going to be sold in duos. When I show you the arm swatches, I'll show you each one of the duos side by side. That way you can get a feel for what each one of these little duo sets look like. The Powder Room Duo has Casual Dress and Can You Even. Drop a Hint has Genie and Keep It Coy. The Lofty Goals Duo is Air Kiss and Puddin. The Hazy Baby Duo has Lucky Cat and Buttercup. Then we have the Puff Mommy Duo, Room Service and Get Money. Kiss the Dusk has the reds, it's Daily Dose and Big Bang. Then the two deepest shades are in the What the Fluff duo. It has Hermosa and Southbound. Let's take a look at the comparison swatches now. I did try to group these into the most similar color families. You are going to see the new permanent shades just mixed in with the Midnight Masquerade and the Lunar New Year shades, sort of as I saw fit to compare them. So let's take a look at a whole bunch of comparisons now. I really hope that you found all of those comparisons helpful. It seems like there are some shades that are pretty similar to previously released, but in general it seems like a good range, a good addition to the ColourPop line, especially considering that the other shades that I compared these new ones to probably aren't going to be around forever. I think these 14 are going to be permanent. We'll probably see new shades coming out. At least I hope we do. But I do think that the Midnight Masquerade shades and the Lunar New Year shades will eventually be discontinued. They'll sell out and they'll just stop restocking them. So this seems like a really nice shade range. There's definitely something for everyone here. It does make sense that this initial launch, the initial introduction, has the really staple nude pink, red, and some kind of vampy colors as well. It would be fun to see them do a couple of sort of wacky colors like a gray, a lavender, a dark blue, or something like that. That doesn't really fit ColourPop right now anyway. They do tend to stick to the more staple shades, but just a fun idea. I'd like to see it. It's not something I'd want to wear every day, but it would be fun to see. I think once we hit warmer weather, we're going to see some more orangey shades, corals, and things like that introduced into the line. Maybe not quite so wild as the 
lavender and midnight blue that I was talking about. But hey, you never know, ColourPop does keep us on our toes. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this new product launch. Are you excited for any of these shades? Which ones are on your list? Are you gonna go for the duos? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You know, it is, it is what it is. It's fine. You know, it's fine. I'm fine. What is this? Blah, 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 blah. Huh? Lux look, 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 look lips. <laughs> Yikes. I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm fine. Hmm. Eh. What? In this new formula, at least we hope we <laughs> pray for my lips because it's time to lip swatch. Okay, editing Amanda, are you listening? You should see my arm. This is my arm after the comparison swatches. Do you see that? <laughs> okay, this one is Buttercup. Buttercup, what's up, Buttercup? All I can think of is Princess Bride. One of my favorite movies, by the way. I can't wait to wear so much lip balm later. They've gone from hurting to like a little bit numb. So that's always a good sign. As my husband says, good enough for government work, which should be scary because he works for the government. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Oh, just almost knocked everything over. It's okay. We did it. We did it. That's all the lip swatches. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go wear 10 pounds of lip balm and not wear lipstick for the next like five days. Okay, okay, bye bye, bye.